Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. If you are watching this video, that means you have started your journey to the Salesforce. So as you can see on the screen, in this video, we will go through the process of creating Salesforce Developer Edition org. Before moving ahead, let me explain you what we will see in this video. So first we will see why we need to create Salesforce Developer Edition org. Then I will explain step by step how to create Salesforce Developer Edition org. After creating the developer org, what to do next? That also I will explain in this video. So watch the video till end and don't miss any step. After that you can also create your own developer org edition. And if you are new to our channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So whenever we post any new video, you will get update. So let's moving ahead. First we need to understand what is Salesforce developer org. So the Salesforce developer org is a free and fully feature version of Salesforce that provides developer with a platform to build, test and deploy the custom applications. It also allows users to explore and use the Salesforce various features without any cost or limitations. So after creating the Salesforce developer org, we have free access to use Salesforce features. Then it also used to hands on practice such as creating new custom applications, object, fields and other customization within Salesforce. After that we can also use it for learning and testing purpose. Now I will show you how to create Salesforce developer edition org. For that we need this URL. The URL I have given in description box, you can copy it from there. Now open any browser, here I am opening Chrome and paste the URL that you copied. Now here we need to provide our information, for that here you can see, here we have all fields are mandatory. For that we need to provide value in all fields. So here I am entering first name, Alex, last name Joy, then here we need to provide email. Make sure the email that you are providing, it should be the valid email because after signing up, you will get verification code on that provided email. So here I am entering Alex Joy 08 gmail.com. So here we need to provide role. As you click on this, the drop down list will open. From this role, you can select any of role. So here I am selecting administrator, then here we need to provide company name. If you are working professional, then you can provide your company name, then you can provide any name. So here I am entering TS Info Technologies. Then in the country or region, you need to select where are you from. So here I am selecting India. Then we need to provide state. So here I am selecting Karnataka. Then you can enter any postal code and then here we need to enter the username that we are going to use for this Salesforce developer org. So here I am entering alexjoy at the rate gmail.com. Then here we have a checkbox, we need to check this checkbox to accept the agreement. Then simply click on sign up. It will take time. So here you can see almost there. Now we need to check our email that we provided. So here I am opening email. As I open my mail, so let's check whether any email received or not. So as I click on inbox, now here you can see we have received email. As I open this email, scroll down and here we need to verify our account. So for that we need to click on this verify account. And now we need to create password, for that click on this reset password. So here we need to provide password. After that here we need to select any security question, as you click on it, here you will see multiple questions. And then here we need to provide answer of that particular question. So here I am entering. And then simply click on change password button. Then if you want to save this password, you can click on this save button. Now our Salesforce developer org account has been successfully created. So this is our Salesforce homepage. As you click on this quick find box and then search for the company information. Here you can see here we have company information, click on it. And now here you will see all the information that you provided while creating the Salesforce developer org. So here we have organization name that you provided as the company name. 
After that here we will see salesforce.com organization id. This is your developer org edition id. Then here we also have organization edition which is developer edition. Then as you scroll down here we have user licenses which we will use for creating a new user. Now if you see we have salesforce license which is active. The salesforce gives us two licenses and then in the used licenses here you can see here we used one license that we logged in with. After that we have remaining one license. Now this is the company information. Now I will show you the standard app and the objects. So for that here you can see here we have app launcher click on it and then in the search text we need to search for the sales which is the standard application. As you open this application it's loading. Now this is the home page of sales application. Now if you see here we have opportunities, leads, tasks, files, accounts. Now these are the standard object. So these applications and objects are pre-built by the salesforce which we call the standard object or standard applications. So the object placed over here it's called a navigation bar. So this is the overview of salesforce developer org edition. I have already created video on how to create standard and custom applications. After that I have also explained how to create custom object in salesforce developer org edition. The video link I have given in description box you can go through it. So you will get whole idea about the salesforce developer org. If you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so get regular updates. Thank you.